was the scariest call you ever had. My husband and I had just gotten married and left for our honeymoon. We were driving to Arizona from Montana. We got to Colorado Springs when I got a call saying my 19-year-old twins had been in an accident. I thought they were out joy riding and they were okay, but that wasn't the case. Turns out that they and three of their friends had decided to go fishing that day. The driver was female and she had four male passengers, all young, handsome men. To this day I believe she was showing off for them. She was driving way too fast and rolled on a corner and down an embankment. The young man in the back in the middle was killed. The driver was impaled in her back and had many surgeries. The one in the rear passenger side broke his hand. My twins, one in the front passenger and the other in the rear driver positions, were ejected. One of them had a shattered ankle and a broken leg, which required months of physical therapy, and the other was so broken that, when they got them to the hospital for x-rays, his legs weren't attached to the rest of him, basically, and his pelvis was broken in three places. He had surgery the next morning and was in the hospital for about a month, then in a wheelchair. They said he wouldn't walk until September, this happened in March, but he was determined, and on Mother's Day he stood up from his wheelchair and walked around it without holding on to anything. Now it's five years later and you'd never know either of them were in such a horrific accident. I visit the young man's grave often, as I live very close to it, and the boys and the girl are all still friends no hard feelings as they understood it was an accident. I believe I've raised some kind, compassionate young men, and I'm continually proud of them. Their faith in the Lord has gotten them through a lot of things, but none as severe as this.